hi thank you for tuning in with me for another video i'm back at the cemetery where debbie constantino was laid to rest so right now i'm at the grave of mary silvani mary silvani was just 33 years old when she was brutally murdered her body was discovered on a lake tahoe hiking trail off of mount rose highway in 1982. Eventually, investigators identified her killer as James Richard Curry, a Texas native and serial killer who confessed to three California murders in January 1983, five months after Silvani's death. Silvani had been armed and shot twice in the head, according to the Washoe County Sheriff's Office. When Mary Silvani's parents died, she remained in Detroit. Silvani and her two brothers lived together in Detroit so that she could finish high school. Eventually, they all moved to California and went their separate ways. So here's Mary's headstone. It was actually donated by the cemetery. Um, her brother um, called the cemetery to find out about buying a marker for her and they actually donated the marker and it said that he was so grateful he was crying and he said that it had saved him over a thousand dollars by them doing that for him so i just wanted to pay my respects to mary because she was another victim murdered on a hiking trail just out hiking you know the same thing with rachel morin out jogging innocently in the middle of the day and then gets attacked and assaulted and it's just not right so i have a little crystal for her i'll just put it right here on the heart on the flower so i just wanted to pay my respects to another victim women should be able to go and jog and hike and do things they want to do and you should be able to feel safe while you're doing those things So I'm going to go ahead and do the spirit box and just see if Mary has anything to say about what happened to her and her new headstone marker. And So let's see if she comes through. Mary Silvani, do you have anything to say about what happened to you? Are you with your parents on the other side now? Are you at peace now? Mary, will you come through and say your name? It said Mary. It was all Mary. Mary, where are you now? Are you at peace now? Do you have anything to say about what happened to you? It sounded like it said I'm dead. What happened to you that day on the hiking trail? You were just innocently hiking and then you were attacked. It said he did it. Do you know why that happened? Do you know why he was there and why he did that? Do you like the headstone that they donated to you? Are you happy with it? Are you with your brothers now? Have they crossed over? 
have your brother's house. Do you want to say anything else before I go? Well, I just wanted to pay my respects and I hope you're okay now. So thank you for talking to me. Goodbye. So I'm going to go ahead and do another spirit box session with Debbie and just see if she'll come through and see what happens. And let's see if Mark is still around her and if he also comes through. So Debbie Constantino, I'm back at your grave. Is that okay? Mark, is that you? Are you coming through? It said yes. It said Amanda. Debbie, can you come through and say your name? I thought I heard it right there, Debbie. It said Amanda in a man's voice. Who's the man coming through? Debbie, I want to know if you're at peace now. Is Mark still around you? Have you forgiven Mark on the other side? Is Mark still abusing you on the other side? Are you able to get away from him or is he still around you? It sounded like it said like around him. Who just said my name? Intelligent. It said intelligent. Yay. Who said intelligent? Said my name again, it's like Amanda. Who keeps saying my name? Debbie, where are you now? Is there a heaven? I said Amanda. Who keeps saying my name? It said seven. What is seven? So, Debbie, I saw that I saw your birthday was on October 17th. That's the same day as my son's birthday. I feel like we have a lot of connections. I think we would have had a lot in common and we could have been friends. Do you think? Who's the man coming through? Who else is here with me now? Does anyone else want to say something?
Mark, what do you think led to the day when you murdered Debbie? I mean, why why did you do that? You couldn't live without her? You would rather die than be divorced? It said yes. So you would have rather died than been divorced and been friends? Debbie, if you're here, will you say your full name? It said it's me. Debbie, are you okay now? Are you at peace? Can you say peace if you are? It said killed. And Mark, why did you kill Debbie? Why did you resort to that? I know you said before that you were depressed, but why didn't you get help for your depression? Debbie, have you forgiven Mark on the other side for him taking your life? Is there forgiveness? I hear like the same woman coming through. Do you have any messages for your daughter, Raquel? It always seems to say devil when I say Raquel. Did Raquel have a dark energy around her? Said hi there. Who said hi? Debbie, will you come through and confirm that it's you? Will you give me confirmation that I am talking to you? Can you say something that would confirm to me that it really is you? Do you have any messages for your daughter? Must be hard for her now. She doesn't have any parents. She doesn't have access to the money anymore. I'll just let the spirit box run. Go ahead and say whatever you want. Were you being abused by Mark for a long time and you just weren't telling anybody about it? Like, what was going on? Did you guys just start not getting along? You were fighting and then it got more violent? And why was your daughter involved? What would you say about your situation now, looking back on it? It was bad. Is it better now? Are you okay now? Where are you? Are, is there a heaven? Are you in heaven, Debbie? Is Mark able to follow you on the other side? Is he just following you around? Can you tell him to leave? Do you want to say anything else before I go?
What would you say to other women that are being abused or were in, in a situation like yours? What would you tell them? It said leave. That's right, just leave. Don't waste any more time. Don't waste your life. Is it okay if I come back and see you again? Thanks for talking to me. Bye. Good luck. It is what it is. That's what it said. You take care of yourself. Bye. Um. So I'm back in the mausoleum. I'm gonna go over here this time. Let's go in here. So we got the spirit box in here. S box. Danny. FM. Does anyone want to talk to me and say hello? It said no. Something just knocked on this window. It said it's just us. What's your name? It sounded like it said Bruce. Are you buried right here in the mausoleum, Bruce? Just walk around with the spirit box and see if anything comes through. It said problems. Jolene, are you here? Sally, are you here? Is there anyone here from the Nanini family? Can you say hello? 99. Said 99. Apology.
Is the woman that I spoke with last time here? Are you here? Does anyone want to come through and say their name? Say hello? Do you know who Mary Silvani is? What about Debbie Constantino? Is she here now? It said Amanda. Who said my name? Are any of the Herrera family here? Can you say your name? Ray, are you here? Can you say your name? Am I really communicating with the dead? Can you confirm that? That's really happening. Does anyone want to say anything else before I go? Thanks for talking. Bye. Well, that's the end of the video with Mary Silvani. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Hit the notification bell so you get notified when I release more videos. And thank you so much for tuning in with me for my little cemetery hike. And have a great day.